How's it going, people? It's Frosty the Kid. Today is an old new video, and yes, again, I've been late. Sorry for that. Uh, we'll be starting off. Uh, you must have read the title, so you know what this video is about and why I've clicked on it. I merely came up with everything on that Epic Games launcher, and please, for God's sake, do not comment about Epic Games launcher down in this video. It's all about the topic that I'm talking about today. We're going to be fixing CSGO with a lot of problems that I faced myself, so I'm going to be showing you how I cleared up with them. Generally, the problem is that CSGO often, if you're having original Steam version, um, it generally crashes when it comes to the account and timing, means 5, 4, 3, 2, in that case, and means not crashes, it automatically force closes itself, just to get you an idea. So I'm going to be opening Steam for now, I won't be showing you what happens, but I'm going to be telling you how you can fix the issue. It's very easy. We're gonna be. I'm gonna be telling you mostly uh, uh, all the steps that you can do in case one doesn't work. You can go to another. The second doesn't work. You can go to third or whatever else, whatever it may be. It doesn't depends. It depends on what problem you're facing. There might be several problems like uh, permissions or authentication or user administration. There could be like you do not have full game data. You can check cache or verify integrity of the file. So while we're going to be starting off, simply go over to your library. This is the very, very first step you need to do, and most of the time, these steps come handy. Uh, first of all, you need to go over to your CSGO properties, go to local file, and all, do make sure that you click on verify integrity of your files, because when your complete game is not being downloaded, or the integrity of the game files are not complete, that might cause some fixing issues. Before clicking on the integrity, there are a few things that you can do. Uh, for this you need to make sure that nothing is going on downloading. I literally cannot do it But because uh, I already have another game on download. So what you can do is to go into Steam Right on the top left corner go to settings and from here you need to go to Web browser first of all this is not usual you need not to do this but delete all the web browser cookies and Delete all the cache and all else stuff. I'm going to do deleting them both and from here You need to go to downloads so I merely click that <laughs> Just click on downloads and you need to click on this clear download cache clearing the download cache might resolve issues for downloading or starting apps but this will also delete all or might cause issues with this so i don't think you need to do that if you're having something on download if you're having nothing just simply do this it's gonna delete everything also for downloading make sure that you click on the right server and in case mine is india delhi and from here you need to go to games and control global offensive go to properties go to local files and verify integrity Second thing that you can do, uh, it's to download or participate into betas of Steam uh, client. Go to Steam, go to settings, and from right here you need to go to I don't know, maybe it's account and yeah, beta participation, and go to account. Uh, you're gonna see change or whatever else it may be. You can simply go, click on Steam beta update, and that's gonna get you some update, a few updates. Uh, you need to update it because. Um, yeah, you need to have it because uh, that might solve up issues sometimes. The third thing which you can do, uh, solved up with a lot of issues for most of the people. Uh, not most of it you can simply do is to uninstall the game and reinstall it. But I don't think you need to do that because that simply doesn't work. Just simply go to properties, uh, go to set launch option, make sure it's dash no way. Click OK. And one more thing you need to do, sometimes it works, I don't know it works or not, I haven't tried it because in mine I did not need it. So simply I'm going to be telling you the command or just forget about it, we do not need to do it here, I'm going to be showing you how you can change that. Simply go to local files, browse local files, and I'm going to be minimizing that for now. Uh, my CSGO has been creating a lot of dump, uh, dump files because of the access violation that I've been getting and I've been working around and figuring out the problems. So here's what you need to do. First of all, go to CSGO. I mean, you simply go over to, or maybe you need to browse it. You can do the way I did, or I have installed it another folder, so, or it could be C drive for you. Just simply go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter Strike Global Offensive, and from here you need to go to CSGO and delete the CFG folder. Just Shift plus delete it, and then go back again, go to Counter Strike Global Offensive Properties and Local Files. Uh, there's one more thing you need to do. Uh, just simply go back and delete this CSGO to the application. Yes After that you need to click on verify integrity of game files and that's gonna download back the CFG folder and the CSGO It won't take time. It's just 500 KB. I don't think it would take it will merely take a fraction of a second for uh, You know if you're having Wi-Fi or something. I do hope that you're playing on Wi-Fi because uh, it would be very shittery to play on some uh, SIM card networks so 
Now, next thing you need to do is a uh, known thing, and most of the people get solved up with this. After doing all this, if you still did not come up with all the things, and you need to go over to user data. Simply go over to games, Steam, or you go to user data, and then to your profile. There are two my profiles from mine, but not to configure it, doesn't matter. Just simply go to the profile that you're having, you must be have one. And there is uh, a folder called 730. It's the Steam uh, app ID of C Counter Strike Global Offensive named 730. Simply open it, go to local, CFG. This is the new uh, uh, position of the configuration file that used to be before in some other place. I'm not telling you the place if you're having some issue. If you want to know, if you just want to know that crap, man. If you just want to know that where it is. Was located before is common counter strike global offensive csgo and cfg there used to be a config file but that's configuration of 360 now we don't want that to be configured just simply go over to steam user data your user id go to 730 app id local cfg and you're gonna find two files you need to edit out here the config and the video uh, there's uh, one more thing you can do just delete it auto execution file if you're having some issues with that because a lot of people have a habit or maybe you might have it that you might change the auto configuration according to you whatever you want it to be uh here's the thing that we need to modify right now here set it to one or zero disables the server message but we want to set it to one because we do not want the server message just in case if you're playing on community servers or else this is not useful see it the next thing you want to do uh this is the change of whatever videos that you video setting that you tweak up to you but these are the video defaults this is a permanent video setting that's going to be used and this is the default setting in case if you close or it automatically adjusts okay leave it so first of all open up the cfg file uh it won't open in yours if you're using notepad then it's going to be coming something like this it's full of shit so we can be focusing just simply go and open with wordpad wordpad aligns it and everything comes accordingly that so that we can even see on it so first of all click on the top corner you need to uh, click on the top so that you can find just click on control plus f and type in html find next and here's the thing that we modified with earlier the call cl disable html modity what it does that the uh, message of you say message of the day uh, disables the html message of the day shown by the server set it to one oh, don't forget that set it to one because has it happens sometimes a pro tip uh, forget about that never mind uh, there's something you need more to do just simply go head over to videos uh, uh, video.txt I'm going to show you what format they are the first one is CFG and the second one that we're opening is video.txt file open it using notepad and that's going to come in something like this just simply set the setting.gpu memory level to zero that's the GPU memory level and setting the mem level to zero as well save it and close it just in case after even after doing this your game doesn't opens or everything that was happening before still persists what you can do is simply delete this video file this is the only thing that worked out for me I deleted the video file and I opened the game and configured the video setting because after deleting the video file you need to reconfigure your CSGO but after that you need to try because that might work and the soft launch option we just did I write down here was the oops set launch option uh, just give me a sec I'm gonna delete it for now where it is oh, it's already there forget about it so where are we know it and that's gonna close the opening video of what your CSGO just starts off so it directly starts off and stuff all going and that's all the stuff we need to do so I do think that hope it worked out for you I'm gonna be showing you how it looked like so just let dive in Okay, so once you're in game, there's something few more you need to do in the consoles and all your stuff type. Uh, well, you're gonna, not gonna see the completely cooldown. I got that because I was not able to open it again and again and again. So it really uh, effed me up. So uh, first of all, you need to enable the net graph. In case you already have it enabled, you can simply enable it. Uh, means you can enable the following commands. So there are a few things you need to do here. Uh, the first of all, thing that would be your video would be distorted because. Uh, we already did the video file so you need to go back to your video setting and change everything to whatever you like or whatever you have or according to your system specific it doesn't depends okay so out here you need to type in i'm gonna close it for now okay i may leave 
and then press enter so you just press enter and that's cut so there are few things you need to do first of all you need to enable the net graph so simply type in net graph one and that's gonna enable this uh, it shows the FPS variable ping loss choke tick and the shuttering or variables whatever being happening in game uh, there's few things more you need to do out here uh, you need to clear the animation caches what yeah I'm pressing uh, it's called clear underscore anim underscore cache and once you do that there's just last thing you need to do type in cl underscore disable html more just uh, to see because we already have did that but you need not to do that again and to know that what is happening in game we need to type in developer one so that whatever being happening is gonna print out up there i don't think that worked i didn't press it sorry so developer one and whatever you type is gonna show right about here so you see unknown command or whatever you're typing so it shows something like that so i'm gonna type in clear and let's go and get ahead see what we can do so let's go to casual you see there's a refreshing workshop in one one that's refreshes the workshop and else thing and avatar image for user that's my id cache that's the ref account and all the things so let's go to casual select dust tool and click on go so it starts writing the configurations measures the ping so i'm going to clear that for now because we do not need ping okay we got our ping to be 73 but we what we really need is we need to check on sv and variable so server is using okay everything done Okay, so here we are and everything works fine. So let's see what happened really. If you come up, uh, it loads the inventory images for all the things that you're gonna see right on the screens and else. Uh, all this screen stuff, it loads the images. And coming up, we're gonna see that there's something it forgot. I mean, fail to load models, mat library. Uh, you can type in mat libraries, you can type in mat and the HDR enablement. It depends, for example, HDR enable zero, type in zero enable, HDR enable uh, stuff. And let's coming up, let's see what we can get more. Is that for, okay? Convar ref CSM force enable displacement doesn't point to an existing convar. So the convar is right down here. You can see the variable and variables that being especially measured in microseconds, but that need not to be configured. Right? So forget about it. Coming down, that's binding uncached material. The material that are not have to be on cash, so forget about it also. A few more, nothing worrying. On in binding and attempt to attach particle effect. So particle effect, maybe I disabled that, but that's nothing. We can work around and scheme refreshing as it should be. And I think that's working as it should be. So make sure to like and subscribe to Fossi Tech. And we'll see you next time.